With Shakespeare, it's not like you can go in and sort of ad lib or like improvise. I mean, it's so precise to the point where you can't even go, <clears throat> you know. Once you really start to research what's going on in these characters and what they're actually saying, some things have like 20 different meanings and get to a point where you, you can become so confused and you, you just gotta like make a choice and decide, okay, this is the way I'm gonna go with this character and this is what this means. When we're thinking of Juliet, Baz and I, he proposed a lot of people and I said, well, you know, take a look at this Claire Danes girl because she had a lot of power to what she was saying and she was the only one doing the audition that looked me right in the eye and really you know gave it to me and she's the type of girl that's very emotionally charged and really you know doesn't let up which is great working with her because you know you gotta we both had to keep up with each other you know the fantasy aspect that's been brought into this version of Romeo and Juliet really made it a lot easier for me because I would have found it a lot more odd to sort of you know did the whole jumping around in tights thing I defy you stars Juliet I certainly don't think I would go to quite the extremes that Romeo did. I definitely have to say that, you know, like everyone else, when you have a girlfriend, you get that side and it comes out in you and you can't help it, you know? But my, I'm, I'm talking about like a, you know, an oochie coochie sort of way. I'm not talking about like this passionate love thing that he went through because I don't know, I can't even identify with that stuff. I mean, that's really intense. I'm just talking about like, you know, being romantic, I guess, which is, I guess I have a little of. Home life has been so the same since junior high school. It's sort of remained the same. You know, I just have a lot more responsibilities as far as like, this is like my job now, you know what I mean? And you know, I get recognized a lot more than I ever have in my life, but you know, how bad is that? I mean, somebody coming up to you and telling you they like your work is not the worst thing in the world. I'm not complaining, that's for sure. <laughs> sort of my big commercial try, but I've been sort of so opposite with that. I've sort of been trying to never do something like that. And I mean, I, I certainly, I'm not gonna continue being, you know, the commercial guy. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go that route, but I don't wanna discriminate a piece of work just because it has commercial potential. I mean, I can't be that extreme. So if I, if I look at a piece of work and I like it, and I like the director, I mean, James Cameron knows what he's doing, and it's a great script and it's a great story. I wanna try it out and, you know, see what that, that experience is like, because who knows, you know, if another one this good will come on for a long time, you know? It's, it's still a great story without, having, you know, cyborgs running around. Okay.